So when I scroll saw something, and a lot of us do that, we come up with a pattern and we and we uh, usually leave some way of hanging it, usually just a hole and uh, and either hang it, hang it on the wall like that or as an ornament. But uh, some of the things I like to have been mounted, and in the past what I've done is I've taken, and these examples would be here, is where I've just painted the background. So I've uh, gone ahead and painted, this as you can see it's sandwiched in there, in which I painted the backer board and then mounted my scroll saw cut from that. Uh, here's one in which I've actually painted the side and the back and everything and that works really well. But one of the things I've done recently on my most recent scroll saw projects and I'm finding it to work really well is to get a gradient look like this, this, this orange to blue. Uh, I've been using paper, and if you can see this here, that's designed for scrapbooking. These are 12 by 12 sheets of scrapbooking paper that I actually mount in between what I've scroll side out with my pattern and the backer board. And then I trim them out. As a matter of fact, I even like to use that for the back when I'm putting my hanger on there and my label on there. I'll use some of that paper. Um, this is another new design I've come up with recently. It can be pretty much displayed any way that you like. Kind of a free form. But then I used like this, if you can see it, they're sort of like leaves or such as a good backer. I generally store these paper, they're 12 by 12 sheets of paper, just in these plastic containers. And you can buy one sheet at a time, um, and, but I actually like to buy them in packs of 40 or 50 of them uh, at my local Michaels. Now any place that sells craft paper will have it, so let's take a little road trip out to uh, Michaels and see what, I'm sh what I what this I find. This is Chris Symmetric here from the Dems World and a lot of the woodworkers have been asking me well, where do I get that uh, paper to mount the woodworking to? Um, and you can buy it, I'm at my local Michaels, and you can get it per sheet. If you just have one small project, they're down this aisle here and if you want to shoot down there you can see individual sheets you can get it. But what I like to do is buy these stacks. Now these are usually around fifteen to twenty dollars each and you can see how each paper is a little different. Um, this one I thought was kind of interesting because it has all like a weathered look and animal prints and stuff like that. And as you're backing your, your stuff, hey look at this, five dollars, you can't beat the price, I've got 48 sheets. And so I'm stacked up right here to the hilt so I'll have plenty of them. And sometimes you'll find a project that they go good with, but you also might find a project to make because of the paper. You know, this one has an interesting design. Some of them have inspirational words and stuff like that. But I just wanted to say I'm here at Michael's trying to pick up my paper uh, and this is where I get it from. And um, if you have any other questions, I'll you know post them on the, on the uh, comments down below. And also, if you wouldn't mind, subscribe if you haven't. Again, this is Chris Demetric from The Dev's Roll. Thank you.